Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 3 Episode 1 Sponsored by NordVPN. More about them later in the bonus round. Round 1, let's begin. If you light a candle and then cut off a small strip from a post-it note to cover part of the speaker on your phone, you can place certain sound waves on your phone and when you point it at the candle, it extinguishes the flame. If I take two identical tuning forks and place them a few inches apart from each other and hit one of them, they both will end up vibrating, meaning even if I stop the one I hit, the sound will continue until I stop both of them. Here it is again while I'm not talking so you can hopefully hear it this time. If you take some Febreze, spray it on a red apple, and let it soak for about 30 seconds, you can then use a heat gun on the apple and the heat speeds up the reaction and turns the skin of the apple blue. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be wrong. This totally works and you don't even necessarily have to cover your speaker holes depending on the strength of your speaker, but I found it helps a lot. Oh and yes, for those wondering, I did add a blowing sound effect to hopefully be tricky. This video was also real. Because both tuning forks have the same natural frequency, the vibration from hitting the first one causes the second one to resonate. Meaning yes, sound will be produced by both of them from just a single hit. That means this video is fake. Spraying for breeze and using a heat gun on a red apple does not turn it blue. It's actually a yellow apple that- No, no it doesn't. Here's a quick recap to help you follow before moving on to the next round. Next up, it's time for round two. Take a strong magnet and use a compass to figure out its north and south pole and label it accordingly. Then label north on a piece of paper and place a container of water on top. Next, if you place the magnet upright on a piece of styrofoam, no matter what direction you place the magnet boat in the water, the poles of the magnet will always align with Earth's magnetic field, as shown here. You might have heard that you're not supposed to drink water from outdoor rubber hoses, and that's because unlike tap water from your sink, which is a great fire suppressant, once the water runs through a rubber hose, it actually becomes quite flammable as you can see here. If you have a Ziploc bag that's too large for your snack, you can simply grab a knife, heat it up in the induction heater, and then cut the Ziploc with the hot knife, which reseals it and gives you a smaller bag and some plastic fumes. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Did you think this video was real? Well, nicely done, this was a real way to make a compass. A hot knife does cut through and reseal a Ziploc bag, although I wouldn't recommend it for obvious reasons. If you thought hose water was flammable, you'd be wrong. Before filling the flask with water, I added a small amount of hexane to the flask. Hexane is a clear liquid that is less dense than water, flammable, and doesn't mix in the water. So when I added the hose water and let it settle, the liquid hexane floated to the top. Here's a quick recap to help you follow before moving on to the next round. Next up, it's time for round 2.5, a bonus round brought to you by the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. The usual rules still apply, I'm going to present three things about NordVPN and your job is to spot which is a misconception. Let's begin. Let's say I wanted to watch the finale of one of the best shows ever created, but having a three hour finale start at 8pm isn't ideal for me. So since I'm on the west coast, I could use NordVPN to connect to a server in New York and now I can watch the east coast premiere which would be at 5 o'clock my time. Next, when using a VPN at home, my internet service provider can't see how much data I'm consuming, meaning only non-VPN usage shows up on my bill. Lastly, The Office is no longer available on Netflix in the US, but it still is in the UK. So I can use NordVPN to pretend I'm in the UK and watch it. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. You totally can use NordVPN to watch the East Coast premiere of shows, which is exactly what I did for the Survivor finale last month. Similarly, you also can use NordVPN to watch shows and go on websites that are only available in other countries. That means NordVPN does not prevent internet service providers from seeing how much data is being consumed. It only prevents them from tracking what you're using it for. If you're interested in trying NordVPN, consider using my link to help support this show. The link is nordvpn.com slash jawdropping, spelled just how it is on my channel, or you can find the link in the description. Using that link, you get four extra months on a two-year plan, and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Anyway, now it's time for the final round, round three. First up, take four straws and connect them to make a square. Then pour some bubble soap into a pan. Next, tie a thin string into a circle. 
Then dip the straws into the bubble soap and place the string on the film. Now if you pop the bubble film in the center of the string loop, the string will get pulled into a nearly perfect circle. Take a piece of fine steel wool and unravel it so it spreads out a bit and has more access to air. Then roll it back up. After weighing it, you'll see that it's 10.66 grams in mass. Remember that value for later. Next, using a 9 volt battery, light the steel wool and watch as it slowly burns. Wait until it's done burning and then weigh it again. You'll see that the steel wool is now lighter at only 9.49 grams because some of the steel wool burned away. If you need to pour water from one beaker to the other, but can't bring them directly over one another, you can solve this by first grabbing some string and wetting it in some water. Then tape one end to the bottom of one beaker and tape the other end to the inside of another beaker. Then fill the first beaker with water and now you can use the string to pour water from one beaker to the other. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought popping the center of the string would make a perfect circle, you'd be correct. Surface tension pulls the string into this shape and you can even slide the circle around by tilting it, that is until it pops of course. You also can pour water between two beakers using string like this, although unless you're very careful like I was, it's probably going to spill at least a little. If you thought steel wool loses mass when burned, you'd be wrong. Steel wool actually gains mass when it's burned because the combustion draws oxygen from the air to form iron oxide aka rust on the steel wool. I made it look like it got lighter simply by not zeroing the scale before measuring it. Here's a quick recap of the final round. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.